everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back to my channel. So we are back today with Witchwood. Uh, it's been a minute since I played, so I don't quite remember what we were doing. We are in the village graveyard docks area, so we're just trying to get all those uh, situations done. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So... Let's see. So, Metamorphosis Elixir, Crypt Crawler Silk from the Graveyard. I don't know exactly what that is. Okay, let's look at the Grimoire. Uh, we need Metamorphosis Elixir. So I need, oh yeah, we need the bug stuff. And bug stuff, I think, is this? Maybe let's go back to the swamp because I know I can get those other things there as well. Hmm. Where is my like entrance? I don't know. Let's just pop out. No, that's the graveyard. We don't want the graveyard. Maybe we do. Maybe we can get out easily that way. I don't know where the Crypt Crawler silk comes from, though. Maybe it's these? But it says unknown, so I don't know. Hmm. It's not those. I want to go here. Okay, we want to go to the swamp. Because I need the, these bugs. Not you, not no. Dragon plot. Bait stick, yes, okay. Not that. Grimoire H. Okay. Uh, bait stick. And we want to pop that, like, I don't know, right here. Okay, bug bit. Okay, we want the Metamorphosis Elixir. Okay, now Crypt, cr crypt Crawler Silk from the Graveyard. I don't have anything like that, so I'm not entirely sure where that comes from. Okay, we are looking for, that's docks, graveyard. Okay, let's see, graveyard, oh, crypt, okay. So this is new, different. Oh, that's I think those needed a lot, didn't they? Exorcism charm. Yeah, bat wings that I don't have. Okay, we're just gonna have to try to like run around that. I don't think they attack any. Oh, oh, geez. Arachnicide. Um. That's new. What is this? And then I need those. Those are from those logs. 
This is... Oh, I need to go back to the swamp again for this. Okay. So I need to go back to the forest and to the swamp. Hopefully that's all I need. Okay. I did mean to get those when I was in the swamp, I just didn't. There are bats. I think those need bait sticks, which I also need those things for from the swamp. Okay. Swamp. Okay, leave me alone. I think these are shears. Yes. So these things... Not that. Wrong button. This thing? No, I need one more. Okay. I'm pretty sure these are only available in the swamp, too. Okay, so I need that. Then I need some more of those mushrooms. And then if I want bait sticks. Oh, but we need meat anyway. All right, uh, let's get to the forest. just head out this way. Okay, and those mushrooms come from these. Ooh. Man. No one asked you. Leave me alone. Now I can't get that mushroom. Fine, let's find another one. I don't know, maybe that was all we needed anyway. But there's one. Okay. Rachnicide. Alright, that's what we've got. Okay, so this this should take care of the ram. Let's make our way into the crypt. And get that spider. Okay, and those don't do anything. So, I need this. Let's toss it. See if that thing goes for it. Or no. No. Where is this thing? I don't want to get attacked trying to find it. Oh, it came, oh, it came down here. And then what do I do? Um, nothing, I guess. Attack it? Oh, no, okay. Oh, I got several. Oh, okay. And it looks like, for some reason, I was thinking that was the only... I got bug gunk. I was thinking that was the only part, but there's more here. Mm. 
That actually took a decent amount to get, though. I don't know how much we need all that. Okay, let's get out of here. We need to go back to the village. That's the docks. What's this? The market? Okay. We have to find our way up. Nope. That is not it. Where is the gargoyle? Okay, so there's that. Not right there. There we are. There we are. Oh, hi. Did you need a lift out to the secret grove? We sure do. Alright, let's supply the spinning wheel. I've got plenty of fleece here, but if you have something special in mind, just put it in. Put it by the spinning wheel. So, sheep wool. The three lots of wool taken from the ram's flock are the most eager to please any hand that guides them. Okay. Metamorphosis elixir. The metamorphosis elixir will really make these garments pop. And then crypt crawler silk. Crypt crawlers walk the line between the mundane and the supernatural, and their silk holds the key to that boundary. With all the goods at hand, you wave the black sheep over to the spinning wheel to get started. A bit stiffer than I'm used to, but I can work with this. She rolls up her sleeves and prepares the bobbin. As the black sheep manages the wheel, you assist by weaving your own magic into the fibers as you feel them through the device. Dazzling colors of every hue shoot out of the whirling wheel, sending sparks dancing into the underbrush. Soon a large ball of rainbow-tinted yarn is wound together. Wow, we didn't even have to use any dye. I could use your help anytime. She gathers up the yarn and admires it before handing it to you. Take it. My thanks to you. I couldn't have done it without your skills at the wheel. Say, you should think about returning to the village soon. Your little doggy friend was quite worried about you last time I saw him. Oh my gosh, I was in such a panic that I completely forgot about him. But what about the ram and his flock? I'm a goner if I go back there. You leave that to me. All right, let's go back. And let's go visit the ram. All right, so let's go to the ram. Color is the path to division, and division is the bedfellow of damnation. Ah! You twist a length of your multicolored thread into a makeshift lasso. The shifting colors make the thread appear to be alive. What nonsense! I'll just loop my magic yarn around each of these sheep and show them the world is more than black and white. Is that what I'm doing? Entwine. All the sheep, all the sheep, all the sheep. Stopping in the middle of his sermon, the ram notices that his flock is no longer paying attention to him. The flock turns away from the ram's ravings, fully enraptured by the colorful thread. Hey, what are you fools doing? This is the black sheep's work. Wow, we just assumed it was ugly because the ram said so. No, you idiots. It's wrong. Have you forgotten everything I've taught you? Haha, <laughs> look at all these wild colors. I never knew wool could be so neat. Stop looking at the colors. 
Amongst the commotion, the voice of the black sheep pipes up. Oh, um, thank you. I'm so glad you all appreciate my handiwork. Are you kidding? This is the most amazing wool we've ever seen. Where can we get some more? Stop! Listen to me! Oh wow, look at all these customers. We need to get that shop of yours up and running again. You're right. Oh my, this is also overwhelming. Looks like the time to roll up my sleeves and get back to work. Does that mean you'll reopen your wool shop? We'll help fix it up again if that means we can get more of these fantabulous colors. Arrgh! The ram swings his bronze bell harder and harder, desperately trying to be heard over the joyful celebrations of his flock. Well, we got the ram. Oh my, what in the dickens happened? I guess he clanged that awful bell of his just a little too hard, gave his own head a proper ringing till it couldn't take it anymore. He glanced over to the ram's empty soapbox. A fitting end, I suppose. A shepherd is nothing without his flock. Okay. You pick up the bell, but not a sound emanates from it. Something is muffled. You turn it over to look inside and find that the metal clangor is covered in a familiar bristly white wool. The soul of the ram. Okay. So we've got the ram done. Cat in the market, the rat in the graveyard, the fish in the docks. Hmm. I don't want to catch a kit fish in the market. A cat in the market. I don't want to catch cats. Well, this is the market. I'm assuming then there's only one cat if it's the cat in the market, not a cat in the market. Okay, let's find, first of all, there is a cat treat thing. It was not that. I don't remember what it was. We'll have to find the cat before we find out what the cat wants. <laughs> you guys... I'm not seeing a cat. We've already been that way. Where in the world is a cat? Not over this way. Let's grab those while we're here. See a cat. Okay, let's try to find another area then that we haven't been to. There's a cow. We can't go that way. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not just not seeing a cat. I have no idea. Where's the cat? Huh. Okay, I have no idea. All right. Um, let's do the grimoire. Okay. 
Okay, we already did the ram. Oh! Huh, okay, so the... I remember... This is for our main quest. Okay, so the cat... Craft a rainbow roll for the unicorn. What is a rainbow roll? This. Okay, this, this. Dough. Eggs, this, and moo juice. Well, I guess we might as well work on this. So, eggs... Field. And also fields. Okay, so I need two of these. Will this cow not give me milk? I mean, we'll try it. It doesn't say, but we'll, we'll try. We need to go to the fields anyway, so it's not that big a deal, but... It does, though. Okay, so we've got our milk. There's this goose here. Which I guess I should go ahead and try to get rid of with the digestive tablets. Oh, oh, man. Hate that. Alright, so goose need well we don't know the goose yet so unfortunately i can't get the egg cuz it's it's there causing problems cuz it'll get me if i go back in there oh no i got it okay good okay let's head out I don't have enough for like a health thing, do I? Oh, I do. Okay, let's give us a health thing because we need to take that. <laughs> okay, I do not. Oh, there it is. It's right there. I was going to say, I don't know where the teleporter is. Okay, we need to go to the fields. Right here. So let's check our stuff. So I need a rainbow roll. Which is this stuff. I can't go ahead and do that. Alright, so just dough. Need two more eggs. Down here. And I think there are two chickens over in this area. Yes, several chickens, in fact. I'll go ahead and get that other egg. What about you? You do nothing. Alright. Uh, dough. So we can now make a rainbow roll. Alright, so I want to change this. Let's do the cat. We're going to track this one. So let's go give our sad little unicorn this. Let's go to the market. There you are. A good snack on a perky right up. Rainbow roll. The miserable creature dips its snout into investigate your tasty dessert. Is is this for me? It troubles me to see a benevolent beast afflicted by such melancholy. And the quicker that horn of yours works, the quicker we can sort out this mess. Throwing back its head, the unicorn swallows the odd confection without even chewing. The spots on its back glow a soft lavender, and its hoofed feet levitate off the ground for just a moment. From above, a thin sliver of sunlight breaks through the clouds and sparkles off the unicorn's horn, 
momentarily blinding you in the dazzling flash. When you look back, the unicorn is happily wagging its tail at you. Its horn looks re reinvigorated with a pearlescent sheen. Ah, that hit the spot. Looks like the old truth detector is working again. Well, what are you waiting for? Blast those fools. The unicorn lowers its horn and takes aim at the feuding shopkeepers. A long moment passes as the unicorn's body quivers with anticipation. Um. Wait, I swear this never happens. My powers are all charged up, but none of them are actually lying. So they really did sabotage each other's businesses then? My horn will only be able to blast the lies out of someone who's truly false. As far as they know, they're each telling the truth. Hmm, which means someone else must be responsible for this mess. The feuding shopkeepers run out of insults to hurl at each other and all storm back to their businesses in a huff. I'll go investigate the scenes of the crime at their shops. Maybe I can turn up some clues. Okay, it's been a while since we've been here. So it was the cat who caused problems. The merchant's eyebrows raise at your approach, but he remains generally cordial. Ah, I don't want fish. Um, well, I guess before we do that, uh, we'll go ahead and end this episode here. In the next one, uh, we will work on this right here and see if we can take care of the cat. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be everything for this time, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!